So I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna scrap it out. Just like this. Same thing with the gauze, but this is called wax gauze. It's different because they have the hair, so you have a little feeling when you're touching it on your hand. So that's why they call wax, I think. I don't know. Like this. Alright. Whoop ya! Tadro is barking. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look like Macha want to eat his food. That's why he try to go, go, Macha. Uh, we have two dogs and sometimes. Ooh, yo, ooh, ya, ooh, ya. Aggressive, huh? We have two dogs and sometimes they like uh, Macha eat the dog food. Tadro eat whatever food that he likes it because the doctor allow him to. He very skinny. Only 4.5 pounds. So like this, okay? After I wash it, now I'm gonna cut them in the little pieces so I can make a soup. So for my parent, you know, it's just a little soup, right? For them to eat the family meal when they go home. Very daily meal. Now I cook the braces, pork belly, wood shrimp, also for them to eat because that's more daily meal. If it's too big, I cut it more like in half again. We don't want it too big, right? So I only cook enough. I don't cook a lot. So now this wax gourd, I'm gonna cook with the mushroom. You can cook in different kind of food however you want it as long as you have the veggie you can do whatever you want you know the way you want it the way you craving for this is daily food that my parents or my brother used to eat when they were alive so also we do eat it too so I cut them in like this kind of pieces and I leave them in there too I think my mom gonna like it. So now I'm gonna cut the onion. So later then I can add on with the wash gauze and mushroom, stir and fry with the mushroom. I'm gonna use this white beach mushroom to cook it with the uh, small slice uh, wash gauze for stir and fry with garlic. I also have the king oyster uh, mushroom. I'm gonna add on to the soup and also the uh, wash gel. With this mushroom, I cut them in the small slice. Like this. Right? And then I add on with the uh, wash gel later. I use a chicken wing to cook the soup so I can cook the mascara with the soup. So my soup, chicken wing soup, is boiling a lot. See how it is? My family like to eat bones. I take this out, I'm gonna add it in. My mom used to cook the soup do everything cooking for us when we were younger. Even though when we were married, she's still cooking for us. And she always call us, tell us to come and eat. And I feel bad that sometimes she called me and I couldn't come by and eat because I was busy working. So the chicken gossip Wax gossip is done. Now I put on a little bit green onions and turn up the stove. I'm gonna take the soup out to the bowl too. Chicken soup cooked with wax gars. Add the lizard to the meal. And the mushroom of course. So when you cook the soup, you cook enough, 
Oh yeah, the bones. Put it back in. I, I uh, take it out later. But first of all, we have to put it back in first. <laughs> now the mushroom and the uh, chicken. Let's put a little chicken up for decoration. Same thing, we put a little bit of green onions over. We eat a lot of this, so it's normal to us. And my soup is done. I got my mushroom done already, and my wash gar already cut. I have the green onions. Now I'm gonna make the stir and fry with garlic. So the garlic is brown, add on the mushroom. Stir it. So you can add on the mushroom, you can add on the meat, you can add on whatever when you want to cook anything that you want it. Everyone eat different, you know, like you eat different, I eat different, uh, all the Viet cook different. Uh, so we just cook the way we cook, add on the wash gar. I have it the stove um, on the high. So you stir in something, you actually have to uh, put them in higher heat so they can be cooking really good. So with this one, I add on just a little bit of uh, the MSG. The reason you eat MSG is because some food you cannot eat sugar. Uh, and a lot of people try to avoid the uh, MSG. But the MSG is not bad when you eat them limit. You cook them right, you don't put them like as a sugar level. Then you'll be okay. So stir it. It's almost done. It's just a simple meal. It's not too fancy. We're not too fancy, okay? <laughs> so whoever fancy, good for you. For me, I just simple, like daily. I'm very 100% uh, natural. Look like me, myself, how I look, how I say, how I act, it's very naturally. It's not like an act. It's done. Add on some green onions. Right? And a little bit of black pepper, not so much. Steal it for the last final before serving. Ah, this is from the soup. It's okay. I hide it. Only you and me know. <laughs> now I'm gonna take this guy out to the plate. Remember that piece, the big piece? We hide it, okay? Don't let nobody know. Uh, I was put them together at very first, so that's why you see the two. <laughs> I laugh all the time though. But I'm not crazy. I'm very smart, okay? Very good. See how it, you put them all out. I saw people put the chilies or the, the onion or everything in very uh, professional, the way they put it. But like I say, I'm not pro. I just cook family meal and I know what my family like, so I cook for them. Now add on a little bit green onion. And black pepper for it to get ready. So I'm gonna do the chicken with lemongrass and curry powder. This is our family favorite. I cook on the other video, but this one chicken wings. So I cook like a daily meal for my parents to enjoy. Garlic is ready. Now the chicken. Yay! And close with the lid. Let's check our chickens. Yeah, chicken wings is actually cooked really faster than other chicken, like the whole chicken. 
So I'm about to add on a little bit of the ingredients. Same thing, a little bit of the MSG. Like I say, MSG is not bad if you eat on the limit. Stir it. I do everything just enough for my parents today. I don't cook much extra. Close the lid. Time for the curry powder. Stir it. So when you put the powders in, the curry powder in, you stir it and you see. If it's yellow, the yellow that you like, you okay with it. If it's too, it's too light and you want a little bit more yellow, you can add it on, you know. It's up to how, how dark you want it. And everyone is differently, right? So, for me, I like to see the yellow. Ooh, looking good. Now I add on the lemongrass and the chili. Stir it. Mm, cha cha. So when you put the lemongrass and chilies in, you turn on the stove higher a little bit. I just did. Now it's ready to serve. It's done. I'm gonna put it in like that. So the rest is gonna be in. All of the lemongrass is the best for the chicken. Chicken is good, but lemongrass is better. Right? Good. So I also warm up the uh, braised pork belly with shrimp for them too and a little bit we'll be serving with that. So now I'm going to put the meat in. How the meat? The meat and the shrimp in the bowl. So you can place them in the dish, you can place them in the bowl, you can do however you want it, as long as you cook in the food good, the way that your family always tastes, that's the best already. So this is how it's looking right now. I'm gonna add on the little green onions over it. And a little black pepper, but not too much. And smell good, right? Of course. My parents and my brother, today is the end of the year day, New Year Eve for us. So I cook some food to offer them home so they can stay with us for the New Year. My mom and my brother love coffee, so I have the coffee, milk coffee for them. My father likes to drink beer. Stella are toys, so I just give him those. Now I'm going to put it in. And then I have another brother who also passed away when he was little. That's my uh, fifth brother. So he also invited home too for the meal. So I have the uh, pickles, the fish sauce, the steamed rice, of course, the steer and fry, 
wax gourds with the mushroom, chicken lemongrass with curry, and chicken soup with the wax gourds and braces, pork belly and shrimp. Toward it, they have the place of fruits that traditional that we have to have it. So we just invite them to go home and eat with us. Thank you.